Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over all the remaining Blitz offers and the best ways to make coins during the Blitz promo. I'm going to come on into uh, all into one video so I can have like, a nice, compact video for you guys to watch. And as you guys do know, due to my scheduling and stuff, I've been able to do the morning offers. But in terms of the later offers, I am going to be missing them. But it's nice. I can st I'm still going to relay the info to you, tell you what's kind of coming, what I think of them, and is it worth it. Or should you probably stay away from it based on the value it could bring? I'm just going to go over that. Kind of could be covering the 12 p.m. offers, the 4 p.m., the 9 p.m., and the 12 midnight offers. So definitely stay tuned for that now. Guys, so the Poodle Squad shout out. As you guys do, know, if you want a chance, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on that noti bell. Now, for today's shout out, guys, you guys have been really crazy with the requesting. So, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we do have Elijah Egner. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every video. I greatly appreciate you, man. And guys, if you want to pick up that new Tyreek Hill and you need coins for all this stuff, head over to Mart Reserve down below. Take advantage of the discounted blitz sales and everything. Use code Poodle for 15% off your order. But yeah, moving on from that, guys, let's get into the video. Let's go check everything out. So first things first, let's go over the way to make coins during this. So guys, here's the thing. As you guys do know, they haven't dropped in players. So yesterday at uh, midnight, well, the night, well, midnight of Friday, I guess you could say, we had Jason Verrett and Brandon Ayuk. Then at uh, midnight again, we had Kyle Rudolph. We had the LTD Kyle Murray the night before. When those cards drop, not the LTD specifically, but the players, like as you see on the screen, Montez Sweat and uh, Dante Jackson, when they drop new players, you want to be buying them pretty quickly. So when you see them on the block, wait, they're going to be getting posted super, super fast. And when they do, you want to go ahead and take advantage and buy them. Like, so, like guys like Brent and I, you, Dante Jackson, like, off of the rip, when they go up, they'll sell for like 25K. Like, after like five minutes, they're just going up so fast because everyone wants to get their, um, their Blitz tickets. So they go up, you can buy them for like 25K. And then you kind of wait, like wait a day, wait till the next day, wait till the end of the blitz. They go up to like 45K. Like those cards literally go up so fast and you can make, it's such a great investment opportunity, especially if you have a lot of coins. So let me show you guys what I mean here. So if you go to blitz, let's search by, let's say Dante Jackson, right? And the, like, I don't, I can't say definitively that they'll go up a lot more as the promo goes on, but I can say they will go up initially, which is more than enough. So like Jason Verrett. So let's see, uh, let's see Dante Jackson, right? Like 46K, like he can go up for like, when he first gets out, after a bunch get undercut, you could probably pick up one, one or two or even three for like 30k. And look, you sell them for 46. That's 16k a piece, and then you can get three of them. So that you're looking at like you know 48k minus reduction. You're probably looking around like 38k. But if, let's say you guys wait till like maybe another week or so, maybe he's 55k. I mean, I don't know if he'll go up much more, but I do know you're gonna get the initial initial uh, value form regardless. So I think it's still a great idea. Definitely be picking up cards off the rip when they drop. So like for today's, we have uh, I'm gonna go over them in this video, but we do have a few guys coming. So make sure you are checking that out. So for today's, we are going to be having starting at around, let's see, let's see, let's see. So starting at around 12 p.m., which you guys have probably saw already, we will be having a most geared bundle, 88 overall Chris Godwin, and 88, 9 to 90 overall power pass again. So again, the Chris Godwin again, we'll probably be a guy that goes up initially, probably can pick him up for like 15 to 20K, to 30, 15 to 30K, somewhere between there, scoop him up, and then within like a few hours, even wait a day or so, it doesn't really matter when, whenever you feel like cashing out. Go sell them again. You can make quick 15K. Now, guys, this can really add up. You know, you pick up, let's say you do this a total of 10 to 15 times. You make a total of 10K a piece after reduction. You're looking at between 100 to 150K. That's a free play. That's a free legend for you guys. So there's just plenty of opportunity for this. But that's pretty much it for that method right there. Just use that. Let me know if this works for you guys. If you've probably been doing it already before, but just try that out. Let me know how it works, guys. I, I, if you do it, like, I mean, obviously one time every time. And you just do it one time. It's only going to be like a profit 15. But if you do it enough, like, you know, things add up slowly. If you do it like 15, to, even let's say you do it 30 times, right? Like, you pick up 10 every time a new player drops for the rest of the blitz. So you're looking at like another five to seven player drops. You could 700K if you do it that way properly. Then you take away reduction. I'm telling you, there's a pretty decent way to make some stuff here. But just let me know how you guys handle that. Let me know how it goes for you. But let's get into the daily offers. So starting today at 12 p.m., guys, we have a most feared bundle 88 overall course, Chris Godwin and the 89 to 90 overall power pass. So the power pass is a pretty decent value. I mean, obviously, convert the price of blitz. Do the math at that moment because obviously math's always changing. So I can't give you a number right now on what the blitz goes for, like the blitz bolts, because of course every minute they're changing, so it might not be valuable in an hour. But do the math on how much blitz bolts cost. And let's say the power pass costs two thousand blitz bolts or even a thousand blitz bolts. Do the math on how much those blitz bolts costed you to get that many, and then see if it's worth it to get an eighty. Like technically getting a free ninety overall. So go to the block. Let's say ninety overalls are like seventy k, right? Seventy five k, sixty k. Now, if the blitz bolts cost less than that, to, less than that to get a 90 overall player, then you do it. If it's very similar or it costs actually more, you don't do it, right? It's, it's that simple. 
Now, Chris Godwin, uh, do you pick him up? Like I said, you buy him off the block, you invest, and you keep reselling him. But I don't think you're going to need him. He's going to be slow. He's not going to be he's not, Well, I saw stats. He's slow. He's not going to be great. And again, unless the only reason you get him is if you need the blitz tickets. And then the most of your bundle, I'd probably stay away from most of your bundle unless the price is of great value. Or they give you a bunch of extra stuff like a free master in there because most of your bundles weren't good to begin with. I don't like seasonal bundles at all. Like I said, the only way you want to go with it is if it's like a reduced cut in half price or it's kind of like the Legends bundle where they give you like a, a full a full most feared master topper or they give you something crazy like guaranteed uh, 89 plus most feared players or something like that or LTD pack. Like, I don't really know, but if they do something crazy, it'll be worth it. But otherwise, I wouldn't buy it at face value if that's the case. After that, guys, we do have a Clutch and Legends pack. Um, now, it doesn't say Legends bundle. It says Clutch and Legends pack. Now, if it's anything like yesterday's Legend bundle, yesterday's Legend bundle is absolutely insane. That was one of the best Legend bundles I've ever seen. You had five 85-plus Legends, eight Legend Fantasy packs, and I believe it was two 89-plus full Legend packs, and you got, like, 12,000 Blitz Bolts. Like, it was an insane deal. Probably the best value so far of the Blitz. Uh, so, if they drop that again, and you guys are in the market to spend some money, again... You can go ahead and do so. Like again, I personally recommend you just go pick up some coins from Mutt Reserve and you go take advantage of investing and reselling. Invest. You could turn that. You could turn a million coins from Mutt Reserve into like two, three million coins during the blitz. Blitz is always in a good time to make coins, obviously. So, but again, if you're a money spender and that's what you plan and you enjoy packs, you have fun with it. Legend pack could be the move. Now, clutch pack, I'm not entirely sure if I would recommend it. Again, it depends on the value. Again, if it's if it's gonna be something super cheap and it comes with extra stuff, it's worth it. But again, never buy anything at a face value. Like. If they just give you a clutch pack for instead of a hundred bucks, give it to you for seventy bucks. Like the clutch packs weren't even worth it at seventy bucks. Not even worth it. You know, you wanted like thirty. Now last year they dropped an all pro and clutch bundle at like twenty bucks. That was worth it. So if it's something like if the value is greatly exceeding it, it's it's worth it if you do spend money. But I would not recommend it unless it comes with extras. Like and make sure the blitz bolts are good too because it's been very weird. Like this elite bundle is twenty bucks, right? It comes with twenty two hundred uh, blitz bolts. This is thirteen blitz tokens, and then like. There's been some stuff. This comes with one blitz token, but then there's been some stuff like the uh, legend bundle that came with like twelve thousand blitz bolts, which converts to you know like about four of these, which is going to be uh, what is that fifty two blitz tickets? Like that's that, that's a great value. That's almost that's like half Tyree Kill just for one legend bundle, which is not a bad value at all. And then moving on, guys, for the nine p.m. offers, which is like our limited time one hour offer, we got a series Redux fantasy pack. Now let's go check the market. How are series Redux far fairings are worth? And I remember, guys. The one bad thing about these blitz bundles is that if you think it's a good value, so does everyone else. So you have to remember that if you like when you do this, the price, the players you get go significantly down. So I would definitely, I probably wouldn't open the series Redux Fantasy Pack because there's a high likelihood you're getting a 50, 60 to 70k card. Could you pull a Jamal Adams or one of those guys? Maybe if you're really lucky, but even he's like 135k. You take away reduction on these guys, you're looking at like 120. Could you pull any? Like, like that's the thing. I need potential, right? So, like, it was, like, early in the year when I had that full legend pack for level 50. It was worth it, right? Because there was a chance I can get Bo Jackson. And little did it. I got Bo Jackson. So, I sold him for 800k that day. But here, it's, like, your floor is 40k. After reduction, you're looking at, like, 45k. And your ceiling is going to be somewhere around, like, 180, give or take. I don't think any of these guys. I think there's lower options of all these guys here. So, your ceiling is around, like, 180 after reduction. So, is 180 worth it? I mean, like, it's 10 bucks. Even ten bucks, like I feel like you you could buy. Honestly, you could buy coins for cheaper than that. Uh, I honestly I don't know if I'd, I'd risk the pack. Only okay, only way this pack may be a decent buy is ten bucks. But again, you have to remember, the odds of you getting the one eighty card are almost unlikely. You're more than likely just going to get right here. You're gonna get right here one of these fifty k cards. You're gonna end up with fifty k for ten bucks. You can do a much better job buying coins. Like I said, only way, and literally the only way this pack ends up being worth it at all is going to be on an extreme value. So make sure you're checking that out. Like. An extreme level, it has to be like a, like an extreme level of blitz bolts. Like you get like twelve thousand blitz bolts with it, or like uh, that's that's the same. Like even two thousand, right? If it's a ten dollar pack, right? It goes to the price. If it's a ten dollar pack and you get two thousand blitz bolts off it, or you get like ten blitz tickets, maybe it's worth it because you're getting the blitz tickets with it and the token. So either way, the pack's just extra. But the pack, but if it's just the pack by itself, like minimal blitz tickets, minimal blitz uh, bolts or anything. It's just a pack. I don't know if it's worth it. Like I said, if it's five bucks, yes. If it's ten bucks, if anything after ten bucks, I'm, I'm not doing it unless it comes with some extra stuff. But with the guarantee, it's like a ninety-one plus or something like that. But even then, a ninety-one plus could still get you fifty k. So it's not that great of a value. Yeah, pretty much wraps up today's video. That covers just about pretty much everything today. And we do have a house rule switch coming on. So uh, you know, every day around I believe it's twelve midnight or whatever it is, or every twelve hours we get a house rule switch. So this is the house rules we're currently rocking with right now. I'm going to show you guys that into the head-to-head -head loading screen on screen, of course. I think it always takes a while. 
we got show off so it should be switching again to a hot spot sometime at midnight i believe that's how it's been switching like every 12 hours so do expect a new um blitz house rules we've been we've been switching it's like a switch of the guard every 12 hours so you probably used to you probably played both already let me know which one you guys prefer i mean they're, they're both different in their own right but let me know which one you guys prefer for a show off or hot spot but yeah guys pretty much wrapped up today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel comment down below poodle squad like the video turn that naughty bell and that's about it you can have a chance to shout it out that way head over to my reserve pick up those coins to snag tiger kill camp chance and all the other blitz guys that's about it enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace